Let's start this off with me explaining what I'm doing in this video. There's a few videos that I've watched where people take blunt chunks of plastic and they chop them up and they stick them into a, a mold and they put it into the uh, oven and they heat it up really hot and then the plastic fuses together and then they turn hammer heads out of it so they can use it as a blunt hammer a dead impact hammer you know uh, against steel or whatever and I thought that um, let's try this let's try doing the same thing but uh, I don't have chunks of plastic laying around from old mugs or even uh, plastic milk containers stuff like that I don't have any of that laying around so I thought though why not grab a bunch of plastic bags and try doing the same thing by melting a bunch of plastic bags in a soup can I took it outside and put it in a uh, vat of real cold cold water and some ice to cool it off faster. So uh, let's tear this thing open and see how much, how big this chunk is. put on some gloves for this craziness. Oh man. There it is. Didn't even stay together. It all fell apart. Ah, that's it right there. Looks like it's real porous gunk. It's solid, it's hard. But looks like all those all those paper bags came out to be about three quarters of an inch. Maybe even a half. Well, obvious now we know that using those plastic bags is not a feasible thing to use when it comes to making a hammer. Or a blunt hammer. I wonder. Did I get it too hot? Yeah, you got you gotta get all the air bubbles out of the thing. 
I tried to stir it with this piece of steel when it was in there. Yeah, yeah man, this stuff's just flaking all apart. Maybe I did. Maybe I did get it too hot. Way too porousy. Yeah. So guys, what do you think I should do? Should I try a different type of plastic or what? Obviously there's different types of plastics, we all know that, but uh, I would think, I thought that that, that uh, paper, that plastic bag stuff just might work if you melted it down, but I guess not. So, huh, what kind of plastic should I use if I wanted to make a blunt hammer, you know, a blunt hit hammer, you know, you hit it and, you know, it ain't going to bounce all over the place. Yeah, so, I thought that might work, I thought the outcome would have been better than what it was, but I guess not, so, huh. What kind of plastic you guys think I should use? Post a comment down below. Don't forget to check out the links down in the description and be a supporter of the content. Yeah, this is a little odd, but it was interesting to find out. So see you guys in the next one.